Hello mga guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Ngayon naman ang i-share ko sa inyo kung paano ang pag-fill up ng tax sa Google AdSense. Especially sa mga new YouTubers na kagaya ko, na newly monetized lang. Tara na mga guys, ipisa na natin ang pag-fill up sa Google AdSense tax. Tapusin nyo ang mga video na ito mga guys at kung may tanong kayo, Just comment down below at agad kong sasagutin. Let's start na mga guys. First natin gagawin guys, punta lang kayo sa Google Chrome nyo. Yung may circle na yan. And then, sa browser, i-type nyo lang ang AdSense. Yan guys, alabas na yung Google AdSense. Yung may circle na yan, i-click nyo lang yan. Yan mga guys, nakakonected na kasi yung aking channel sa Google AdSense ko. I-click nyo lang yung Manage Tax Info. Yung may circle na yan. Diyan natin pipilapan yung tax natin na ikakaltas ng Google sa ating sasahurin. Kaya dapat pilapan na natin yan mga guys. Click lang natin yung Manage Tax Info. Yun mga guys. Pag-click natin doon sa Manage Tax Info lalabas na ito ito yung mga sasagutan natin yung una yung what type of account do you have click nyo lang guys yung individual and then click nyo guys yung next So, tapos guys, sa next na lalabas Are you a citizen or resident of the United States? Siyempre, ang kiklik nyo yung no dahil taga-Philippines tayo Kung taga-Philippines kayo, i-click nyo lang yung no And Then after nyan guys, i-click nyo yung next Then after nyan guys, lalabas na yung select W8 tax form type. Ang i-click nyo dyan guys, yung W8 BEN. This form is most commonly used by non-US individuals and will also be used to claim tax threat benefits. Pagka-click nyo yun guys, i-click nyo yung start W8 BEN form. After nyan guys, after nyo maklik yung W8 BEN tax form, lalabas na yung pipilapan nyo na tax identity. Be sure na yung information ay exactly para kasi dun ikakaltas yung tax sa inyong mga sahod. Then guys, yung number one, name of individual, yung real name nyo, pilapan nyo lang yan guys. blurred ko yan guys ha and then guys pag nabiro pa nyo na yung name of individual puntahan nyo yung country, region or citizenship i-click nyo yung arrow sa gilid so taga Philippines kayo hanapin nyo yung Philippines click nyo yung Philippines yun guys Philippines, click nyo lang yung Philippines and then guys 
after nyan tax identification number yung tin number nyo guys dito sa Pilipinas i-fill up nyo lang yan guys after nyo ma-fill up nyo guys yung tin then next naman sa tin number nyo guys yung permanent address nyo i-click nyo lang yung box na permanent address and then sa country religion is Philippines and then yung street ng address nyo type nyo lang yung street ng address nyo After ma-type yung state ng address nyo guys, yung sa suburb, yun yung barangay. After suburb guys, yung city nyo. Kung saan city kayo. And then guys, yung postal code ng lugar nyo. And then guys, next province. Yung taga Manila kayo or locos or ano lagay nyo lang dyan pa ng province nyo lagay nyo lang dyan yung pa ng province nyo then after ng province guys yung mailing address i-click nyo na lang guys yung box para same na rin ang address nyo and then after click that mga guys i-click nyo rin yung next After nyan mga guys, may tanong na Are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty? I-click nyo lang guys yung yes. After nyan guys, i-click nyo yung resident of country region claiming treaty with the US. Then guys, click nyo yung arrow na may country region hanapin nyo yung Philippines click nyo yung Philippines katapos guys nyo sa special rates and condition ang i-click nyo guys yung services as adsense kasi nyo naman tayo sa mga ads kumikita yun na i-click nyo Pagkatapos guys, article and paragraph. I-click nyo lang article 8 and paragraph 1. Sa so, withholding tax rate, i-click nyo yung zero reduced treaty rate. Pagkatapos guys, i-click nyo yung reason na namit nyo yung terms of treaty article as a tax residence click nyo lang yan na kayo si ganun ay namit nyo lang yung terms ng treaty article click nyo lang guys yung as a tax resident of the country region and then pwede the tax identity section click nyo lang yung guys and then next yan na guys number 4 yan na guys yung number 4 document review i-check nyo guys yung nasa right side na form na form with a b e n kung tama yung pag fill up nyo i-click nyo lang sya guys pagkatapos guys I-check nyo yung box na I confirm that I have reviewed the generated tax document to the best of my knowledge and believe they are true, correct, and complete. After nyo i-check guys yun, i-click nyo yun na Tapos i-click nyo to. And then next. 
pagkatapos guys, i-fill up nyo yung full name nyo. Pagka-fill up nyo ng full name nyo guys, nakalagay, are you the person listed in the signature section? I-click nyo lang, yes, I am the person listed in the signature section. And then, click nyo guys, yung next. Number 6 guys, activities and services performed in US and Apidabit. I-click nyo lang guys yung no. Pagkatapos nyan, i-click nyo yung I certify that the service provided to Google of its affiliate will be performed sold outside the US. I-click nyo lang yung box na yun guys. And then guys, are you providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments or an existing payments profile that has previously received payments? Newly monetized lang tayo kaya gaya, wala pa tayo natatanggap na payments. Kaya ang i-click natin guys ay yung I am providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payment. Itong una guys. And then, click nyo na guys yung submit. Yun na ang lalabas guys. After nyo makuit yung submit. Na-approve na. And then, yung nare-receive kayong email. Yun na nga guys, nare-receive na email. Google Payments, your tax information has been approved. Yan guys, mga ka-receive kayo nyan. Kung may tanong lang kayo guys, huwag kayong haya mag-comment. Kung may mga tanong lang kayo guys at hindi nyo naiintindihan, just leave a comment down below at sasagutin ko naman. Uh, sana may natutunan kayo, lalo na sa mga new monetize na gaya at gaya ko na nangangapa ko anong gagawin enjoy watching mga guys